Ready for more of this? Are you ready for this? Yeah, another storm uh, coming down. We've got some clouds outside. Sky Fox showing you that same view. The sun trying to break through this cloud cover at this early morning hour, but uh, this is really going to be the pattern as we get into the rest of the weekend. We've got some clouds, some drizzle uh, out there this morning in some areas, and then more rain as we get into the overnight hours. All related to this area of low pressure, which is up to the north. We talked about this really all week as that cold front makes its way south. Look at all the popcorn-looking clouds. That's indicative of that cold air mass that's still behind that cold front. Today's highs across the country, if you're traveling, 43 in New York City today, 56 in Atlanta, 55 in Dallas, 73. One of the warmer spots in Phoenix and Miami, 81 degrees there today, 34. That's chilly up into Seattle. All right, here's one of our computer models. Right now, as of this hour, 7, 730, picking up some of that moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Very light drizzle, perhaps in some areas, otherwise cloudy conditions. And then watch as that cold front makes its way south. We get it breaking apart, really, uh, tonight into early Friday morning. But we will see some periods of rain, some heavy at times over the mountains and foothills. We get a little bit of a break on Saturday. It should be mostly dry with a sprinkle here and there up into the mountains and foothills. But then another system moves in Saturday into Sunday. This one, again, another shot for some light to moderate showers, occasionally heavy at some of those foothill communities. I think after this is said and done through late Sunday and Monday, we could be looking at half an inch of rain for the coast and valleys, upwards of one to two inches over the mountains and deserts. The winds will get gusty as well. So, in fact, uh, the National Weather Service is issuing this wind advisory set to go into effect around 10 to noon uh, through the mountains and deserts of L.A. Ventura County. That drive up into the Mojave area will be gusty, nearing 45 five plus miles an hour, also the mountains of L.A. County. So just be careful, especially if you've got a high-profile vehicle. When we see those wind advisories go into effect, that means hazardous driving conditions, particularly in those areas. All right, today marks the start of a new month, December 1st. Also, we mark it meteorologically speaking at the start of winter and just in time for the clouds and showers. But uh, we're talking about astronomically, did I get that right? Meteorologically, we start the month uh, as the winter, but astronomically, we really do welcome the winter season here on December 21st. So 20 days until that occurs, uh, 148 in the afternoon for the northern hemisphere. That means summer in the southern hemisphere. 24 days until Christmas, you guys, that's it. Yep, December's here. It's going to get even faster as we get through uh, this week here. Ventura, L.A. County's going out to maybe surf. Two to four foot sets there. Orange County, San Diego, one to three feet. Temperatures on the sand a little cooler than those water temperatures, which is still going to cool. Upper 50s to near 62 degrees. Moderate rip current risk. So as always, we advise you swim or paddle out near a lifeguard. Here's our seven-day forecast as we try to break it down for you. Only in the 50s today, drizzle mostly earlier in the day. Day, and then that rain comes in, maybe even as early as the latter part of your evening commute, but mostly overnight into early Friday morning. The rest of Friday should be okay. Saturday, most of Saturday should be okay with some clouds and maybe some early morning drizzle. But then Saturday night into Sunday, another shot for some rain. Early next week, a good, cool, but dry start to next week. 42 up into Big Bear area. Yes, we will expect to see some snow with this, but mainly up above uh, 6,500 to 7,000 foot levels. So our resorts should get about three to six inches of snow, but I don't think our travel up there will be too hazardous. So I don't anticipate any winter storm warnings to go into effect. 54 in Lancaster today, 66 in Palm Springs, and even in the Coachella Valley, a little bit of sprinkles expected through the weekend. Much drier, as I mentioned, but cool as we get into next week. All right, let's do some TV shout outs while we're here. A happy fourth birthday to you, Zania. I like, I like that pose. Uh, your Nana sent us this photo of you, and she says you are the sunshine of your family. Adorable. And uh, you guys, so fun. This is Ventura County Derby Darlings, the local roller derby team there in Camarillo dressed up. This is this past Halloween dressed up as the Golden Girls. You are fun, darlings. Keep those pictures coming. You can send them to us via email, TV shoutouts at fox.com. Just don't forget to attach the photo, please. We'll be right back after this quick break.